Stasiak here with GCU baseball head coach Andy Stinklich. Coats, we have a lot going on here yes. at the new ballpark and an updated field, I guess you could say. It's the original field that you had, but you've kind of redone and added a bunch more here. Can well, you tell us um, about it. Yeah, fortunately, I haven't redone anything because that would be a mess. But uh, um, yeah, it's still it's uh, it's it's Brazel Field at GCU ballpark. Um, Coach Brazel, as you know, is, is an icon here at the university. He's been here a long time. And so we were really excited. You know, it was Brazel Field, Brazel Stadium, so we could keep his name attached to the, to the, to the ballpark. And so, um, but yeah, it's a whole new look. You know, before it was just obviously just bleachers. Um, now you've got stadium, chairbacks, um, you know, throughout. You know, uh, it's really elevated. You know, there really isn't a bad seat in the house. You know, they have these. Uh, um, these white seats here that you're going to see on the kind of lower section um, are, are just here temporary for, for this season. And then once the season ends, they're going to come in and move those and put a couple chair backs down closer to the floor. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be even a better look after spring is over. How big is having all of this in your first season of Division One postseason? Uh, it's exciting. You know, I think it's kind of uh, been here for four years, as you know. Um, to, to go past regular season. So to have this done now, and, um, you know, I think it just all came together really well. Tell us about these new cages and why a turf practice field and not just regular? Well, obviously, um, the, prior to the, the new stadium here, we had just three cages. Now we've got four four cages to work with. It's, it's great for player development. We have four full size you can have two rotations going on uh, in batting practice and a lot of early work. So we're really, really grateful to have have that. And then and obviously kind of what we feel is for our program has been a huge part in our player development is the half field. And uh, we turfed the half field this this fall. Um, a lot of a lot of teams as you know Seattle, New Mexico State, Chicago State, and those three um, have field turf. And so, so it's it's good for the guys that get on this um, this type of field, so they get a feel for for, for the ground ball. Why keep the scoreboard and that exterior fencing as well? Well, I think that's um, a lot of folks come in here and they know GCU, um, you know, Brazil Stadium is, is the big green um, wall. The old scoreboard. Um, and then there may be a moment when that goes away if we could possibly put a, you know, a big jumbo okay, yeah. on. But still, it'd be fun to keep that because it's just uh, it's kind of a, um, a landmark, you know. And I, I get I get more people from the Midwest, and when they find out that you know a head coach at Grand Canyon, they're like, oh, is that? Do you guys still have the big green wall out there in the outfield with nothing on it but just the wall? And I'm like, yeah. I'm um, like, hey man, that's, that's so cool. And so, so we do see, obviously, you know, with the times, you see a lot of the big stadiums do the uh, the big scoreboard, you know, with the all the graphics that go on. And so we've discussed that a little bit. Um, so we'll kind of see where that goes. But uh, I think I think part of what we want to do is try to hold on to the tradition that's that's been here. GCU baseball has always been very really strong, a really strong alumni base. Obviously, this is gorgeous, and it's, it's what you have to do to keep you in the program. But it's it's kind of it's kind of cool that we could hold on to the past a little bit. Opening weekend against TCU, what went into scheduling in that? And we talked last year about getting Oklahoma State on your home turf. How big is it to have a program like TCU now coming out here? Well, it's it's great. Um, you know, one of the good things is is we've got a really good relationship with Coach Stoschnagel and Bill Moziolo, um, the third base coach. We've, Coach Wallace, coach with Coach Mozilla at Tennessee. So it's we've known known them for a while, and, and I think you know we told them about the new stadium that was going to be built, and um, we just thought, hey, what a what a great program. Obviously, top. I mean, they've been they've been in Omaha four years in a row, mm -hmm. and that just doesn't die. You know, it's crazy impressive. So what better better program to bring in? It's one of top one two in the country the last four, four or five years and so it's big you know and, and I think that's part of what what we want to do I think that's what our administration wants us to do is just to, to we want to show it off we want to show off 
um, the stadium and we show off the school. How about your guys? You've got some big bats returning and some ace arms. How did the fall go and what is the one thing to look out for as February 16th approaches? Um, the fall went well. We had to train at Maryville. So it was a little bit different because they were building the stadium here so we couldn't be here at all. So that was a little bit different, kind of commuting back and forth. Um, we like we like um, our pitching staff. We think that we have as, as much depth um, as we've ever had here. We like the way the young arms look. We feel like they'll be able to kind of slide into that, that midweek and obviously come out of the bullpen on the weekend. So, so we're going to push them a little bit and hopefully they'll grow up year one. Um, but we like what we've seen so far. Um, and we've got a lot of returners coming back um, um, from a position player standpoint. So we feel like, you know, if they can come and just just progressively get get a little bit better, you know, every every weekend, we feel like we'll be we'll be in a, in a good spot. Coach, thanks for having us out today. February sixteenth, GCU is taking on TCU. Be here at GCU Ballpark for all of the college baseball action. Hope so. <laughs>